Dude, even Coach Frank himself called me out. That's when I knew I f***ed up. So, I made a mistake. A few months ago, I released a short-form biography surrounding Jason Lee's transition from skater to actor, and I left out one very important character of his, the legendary Coach Frank. So today I'm here to share with you the origins and legacy of this hilarious character. Think of this video as sort of supplemental viewing alongside my previous one. But with all of that out of the way, let's talk about Coach Frank. Hi, I'm Coach Frank, the best skateboard coach money can buy. You can find me in the yellow pages. You're watching 411. Get, get out there, Tigers, and get them! When talking about the Coach Frank character, you have to discuss stereo skateboards, because the character and brand go hand in hand. Let's take it back to 2003. By this point, Jason Lee had almost entirely stepped away from skateboarding for about eight years while he was pursuing his acting career. And I say almost entirely because he was actually reintroduced to skateboarding through an acting role that he landed in the 1999 film Mumford, where he played a professional skateboarder named Skip Skipperton. And no, I'm not making that up. The name Skip Skipperton is almost as stupid as Skid McMarks. But from what I can tell, Jason didn't fully get back into skating after working on that movie. So a few years would go by, which brings us right back to 2003, when Jason ran into fellow skater Steve Barra, who mentioned that he had just opened up a brand new skate park in Van Nuys, California, and Jason was more than welcome to come skate it. According to Jason, this wasn't Steve's famous park referred to as the Barracks. It was actually a private park that he had opened just a few years prior to that one. But anyway, Jason took Steve up on his offer and began skating regularly at his newly built park. After about a month of reacquainting himself with a skateboard, he called up Chris Pastris to let him know that he was skating again. Chris is, even to this day, Jason's best friend and also co-founded Stereo Skateboards alongside him in 1992. But by 2003, Stereo had been put on sort of a hiatus, as the company wasn't really doing so well during the late 90s. But soon enough, Jason and Chris began skating together and pretty quickly discussed reviving the Stereo brand. In the recent documentary called Tony Hawk Until the Wheels Fall Off, Tony touched on the fact that skateboarding, like many things, is a very cyclical sport, meaning that its popularity changes from decade to decade. And it's hard to argue that in the early 2000s, action sports, and skateboarding in particular, were the most popular they've ever been. So there was no better time to bring back the stereo brand. Alright, are you still with me? With all of that out of the way, we can finally talk about 411 Video Magazine issue number 65. Hi, I'm Coach Frank. And I'm Windsor Rothschild III. And you're watching issue number 65. <laughs> what you're looking at is not only the introduction of Jason Lee as Coach Frank, but also Chris Pastras as Windsor Rothschild III. And this segment was so goofy in contrast to the serious, very artsy tone of stereo skate videos, but it just worked so well. Coach Frank only appeared one more time in this episode, but Chris Pastras also debuted a very much underrated character named Neville Sanzibar. Oh, this is watching some motherfucking 411, and this is never motherfucking Sanzibar in the motherfucking house. All y'all better get off the motherfucking couch now, before I kick your motherfucking ass. Note to self, stop hanging out with so many lazy ass white boys. Both of these characters made a very brief cameo appearance in the stereo skate video titled Way Out East. Coach Frank would go on to appear in several stereo promotional videos over the following years. He even did one alongside John Heater, the actor who played Napoleon Dynamite. But personally, my introduction to Coach Frank, and I'm guessing maybe yours as well, was during Tony Hawk's Project 8. Hey buddy, your putting coming up short? You tired of that horrible golf swing? I bet you are. Well then, it looks like you need to buy Coach Frank's golf instructional video. Right now, just $7.99. Thank you. In this game, Jason Lee played an extremely prominent role. Like to the point that this game could have been titled Jason Lee's Project 8, and no one would have batted an eye. But I have to come clean about something. I was 14 when I played Project A for the first time. When Jason appeared on my TV screen, I said, why is Earl in this game? That's right, I had no idea that he was a skater until that very moment. The name of our team is two black guys, an Asian guy, and the white guy from Earl. Also, before I sat down to write this video, I could have sworn that he actually played Coach Frank in Project 8, but Coach Frank only appears in a promotional clip for Stereo in this game. And that was sort of a missed opportunity because Jason Lee acted as basically your guide throughout the entire game, so Coach Frank would have been a perfect character for that role. But of course, that mistake wouldn't be made again, as just a few years later, Coach Frank appeared in the game that would rocket the character into another level of popularity, Skate 3. Hey, you having problems on your skateboard? <laughs> having trouble with the ladies? Oh my god, would you leave me alone? Or men? Loser? Hey! You can call me Coach Frank, the best skateboard coach money can buy. Not only am I a skateboard coach, I'm also a love consultant. Hi. Oh, you're cute. 1-800-COACH-FRANK! 
In Skate 3, literally right after you create your first custom skater, Coach Frank is introduced as the sole proprietor of the Skate School, where you learn all of the different techniques needed to succeed throughout the game. And you also unlock the ability to play as Coach Frank upon completion of Skate School. And he's definitely my favorite character to skate as. There's nothing funnier than hearing him let out a sarcastic remark after racking his nuts on a handrail. I, I meant to do that. In the years that followed Skate 3, Coach Frank would pop up in a stereo promotional video from time to time, but the character has been sort of laying low as of late. Oh man, look at the hooters on that one. Hey Lester, check that out. Lester! Oh man, I'm pretty good on one of these things. Here you go, little shredders! Woo! Thanks, Coach Frank! Yowzers, what a neat bag! Kick gear! You boys have fun at the skateboarding park! Thanks! I played you in Skate 3! And if you run into any hot ladies, bring them back to old Coach! <laughs> in Jason Lee's recent interview with the Nine Club, Coach Frank was discussed, specifically his potential inclusion in Skate 4, which is still sort of up in the air as of right now. But come on, not including Coach Frank in Skate 4? That would be a total sin. I mean, the character has only grown in popularity since Skate 3 came out. Like, look at this awesome animation someone made from Jason's recent Nine Club interview. You want to smack yeah. those wheels down as hard as you can. Yeah. You do a kickflip off a curb cut, pow, you want it to pop up at your feet. On a 360 flip, it's the best pow there ever is. Right? It really is. So I've seen a lot of 360 <laughs> flips without the pow. No pow. Yeah. Facts. And that'll do it for today's video. If you liked what you saw, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.